He joins us now. A lot of people are dealing with not only the cold temps, but some of the snow flurries that you've been talking about tonight. That's right, and we're hearing that the roads are, are a little bit slippery out there right. tonight with the snow. Not a lot of snow out there in most areas, but the further south you go, you're getting into the two to three inches of, of snow. And in addition to that, we have cold temperatures out there. And I wanted to start off with the low temperatures from this morning because these were fairly amazing. Take a look at this. A number of locations down below 20 below zero. This is air temperature. Clarion 21 below. Puxatawney 18. Below zero, 17 below in Donegal, and you see Lynch and Forest 24 below zero. Closer to Pittsburgh, it was also extremely cold this morning. Portersville and Butler. 18 below zero, 16 below Newcastle, Slippery Rock, 14 below, and it was minus 11 in Burgettstown as well as Heidelberg. So if we take a look at the temperatures right now. We're in single digits in a number of locations, including Cranberry at 8 degrees and 10 degrees for West Mifflin as well as Greensburg, 12 in Uniontown and Morgantown, and colder down in Deep Creek with a temperature right now of 3 degrees. 9 degrees in Pittsburgh with winds out of the northeast at 6 miles per hour, a light breeze, but good enough to take that wind chill down. To one below zero. High temperature today is that nine degree reading, and here is the temperature in Pittsburgh at the airport this morning six below zero. That's pretty cold considering our record low temperature, seven below zero, set back in 1963, so we only missed that by one degree. With the snow that's been moving through, primarily from Pittsburgh down to the south, it has been reducing our visibilities, especially in West Mifflin, 1.3 mile visibility, Morgantown at one and a half miles of visibility. As far as temperatures go, won't be nearly as cold as it was this morning. We'll drop down to around eight, nine degrees, and then tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at high temperatures that'll be closing in on 20 degrees, but a number of locations won't make it out of the teens for tomorrow. Storm system moving through right now. This is a big one. It extends all the way from Pennsylvania all the way down to the uh, Gulf uh, states. We are looking at the northern edge of this, or the northern fringe that we are dealing with. And uh, we certainly got some snow down towards uh, Washington County and down towards Uniontown. In these areas, we're getting reports really anywhere between about one to three inches of snow, some isolated locations a little bit more. So we'll see when it all pans out, how much we end up with exactly. But we are getting just about to the end of this. The next couple of hours should start to see most of the snow or the brunt of the snow begin to wrap up. As we take it to 2 o'clock in the morning, you can see the snow is to the east of us with that low pressure. It will continue to push off to the east. Tomorrow morning, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies. We take it into the afternoon, and we should get a little bit of a break and see some sunshine out there. And then our next system moves in. A cold front works in. This is Wednesday at 2 o'clock. That means more snow showers will be moving in. We'll be seeing some light accumulations, maybe one to two inches of snow out of this as it moves through. And then we take a look at tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, mostly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, we are looking at a little bit of clearing before that next system moves in. And then we'll see just some light snow showers that will be moving in on Wednesday. You can see they're fairly scattered as we go through the day. And there's Wednesday at 5 o'clock. We go into Thursday, and we will have a chance for some uh, snow showers. But not everybody is going to be seeing those snow showers on Thursday, so it'll be a chance of snow on Thursday. So we take it past Thursday. We are looking at the winds to kick up and the temperatures to drop off. Another Arctic blast is moving in as we get into Thursday and especially Friday. So Wednesday night, 11 o'clock, we're already looking at wind chills, seven below zero in Pittsburgh. But by the time we get to Thursday morning, we're talking somewhere about 15 to 20 degrees below zero for your wind chills. You can expect that on Friday morning as well. Tonight, 10 degrees, widespread snow showers, especially. South of Pittsburgh for the next couple of hours. Eight degrees tomorrow morning for your low temperature, and then looking for a high of 20 degrees. Partly cloudy in the afternoon, northwest winds five to 10 miles per hour. As we take a look at Wednesday, 10 degrees for your low, 14 for your high. So, going to stay right about 12, 13 degrees right through the day. Then we'll have that chance of snow on Thursday. It will cool off. Three degrees for your low, eight degrees for your high, but look at Friday, all the way down to six below zero, a high of just 10. And then we take it into the weekend where we'll have high temperatures getting closer to the freezing mark with scattered snow showers.